Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey everyone, checking back in some blockchain names. Good Lord, are there a lot of names breaking out in this space. They add blockchain to their name. They switch their business model around. They get some news for buying out a company, whatever it is. They are exploding, which means we have to be very cautious. I did an intro to blockchain companies video where it was just a big caution red flag that a lot of these companies are not legit and we need to be trading and not get stuck in positions. And that still stands. All of these companies here, I have not looked in depth into the fundamentals. I am looking at them purely from a trading perspective on the chart and I will not get caught holding them. I will hold some overnight if the the swing position and the close near the high of the day does dictate it but normally i'm going to be day trading these positions locking in profit and being all cash at the end of the day to protect myself from any you know bad news big gap downs anything like that just because when you have anything that's run hundreds of percent in a short amount of time the pullbacks are that much bigger when they do come so these names are breaking out ethereum's at all-time highs bitcoin's at all-time highs cryptocurrency is still on fire there's no bubble in sight and these names are the way that the stock market is participating in that rally and getting their own piece of the pie. We have the semiconductors, which is one way with more legitimate names. But we have these low cap names that are shifting into the blockchain sector and some more legitimate than others. But let's get a look at these charts. A lot of breakout names and shout out to Stock Tiger in our chat room who has done a lot of research and brought a lot of these names to our attention. The first one is M-A-R-A. -A. And she posted this news at 2.10 in the chat room and seeing a, a nice 150% move from that point. And we closed very strong. So this is a two-day breakout. I believe there was news. And again, I, I haven't done in-depth research in any of these names, but I believe it was news that they were buying a blockchain company or a mining company, something along those lines. Whatever it is, it was a very significant bullish reaction and follow through. And we're looking for a gap up on Monday. And I say that because of the amount of volume and the close at the high of the day and the lack of resistance where we stand. So we do have resistance. We need to keep that in mind that there are a lot of bag holders in this name that are in the red and going to take this opportunity to trim some of their losses or get back break even or get out with a little bit of green. Either way, I'm looking at resistance. We have five, or I take that back, 604 was the high of this week. I'm looking at the next resistance, 640, seven psychological, and then I'm looking up at a major resistance at 916. So that's where we stand right now. Again, I do anticipate continuation to start the name or to start the next week on on Monday, if you do not have any positions in these names right now, the names that are already breaking out, you have to be very cautious buying a gap up open. Personally, on a name like this, if I wasn't in at the end of the day Friday, I'm not going to be buying a gap up open until I see some clear support established on the five minute time frame. And that's one thing that these names, even though they're running crazy and they're high risk, high reward, they do give us these shorter term patterns that have clear breaks that make us a lot more comfortable to get in on as other traders are recognizing the same thing and getting in as well. So in terms of support on names that have run this significantly, we need to look at the hourly time frame and find that support. So here on MARA, on the hourly time frame, we can see inside bars forming. So a key support to me would be 651. If that were to break, I would know there's a lack of support down here. We just shot up 20, 30, 40% here without consolidating. So if we see a break of 651, we're looking at $6 support as the next level and then down to 541. So there's a lot of room to the downside. Again, very cautious playing names that have run significantly. Look at Grow. Grow Bulls showed up in a big way. Look at that volume. Huge towering volume over anything we've seen with a new higher high. The bull break of 430 was a great signal. 497 is resistance. We closed up at the high of the day. We're looking for more on Monday due to the volume and the close that we saw. The weekly time frame, nice higher low established at 237, and we are in breakout mode. So let's now look at grow on the hourly time frame to find that shorter term support because we're not going to get this information on the daily chart with how significant they have run. And we haven't consolidated much at all. I'm looking at five psychological, 475, and then 417 as supports. If you get stuck when the top is in, you're going to take a big loss very quickly. Stop losses, lock in your profit when you have it, 
all of these ways to protect our capital. The last thing I want to see is anybody gets stuck in one of these names when the top is hit and the rug gets pulled out. So grow bulls in full control. The next resistance on grow zooming out. Let's see if we're at all-time highs, and we are not. So we've got resistance here at 5 psychological, and then I'm looking at 5.59, followed by 6 psychological. And we'll see if the bulls can make it up to that level this coming week. Riot has been insane. I've only been day trading Riot and scalping what I can. And, you know, you can always play the woulda, coulda, shoulda game. If I hold, held back three days ago, I'd be up 100%. But that's not realistic for me personally as a trader. I would never hold a name like this for four days in a row and not lock in profit while I have it. But we are closing very strong. We closed up at the high of the day. 24 is resistance from here. Look at the strong closes we've seen on the way up. We see gap up opens and follow through. Look at the volume. It's increasing bull volume. Great sign at this point. But a name like Riot, I would be even more reluctant to play heading into early next week just because we have already run 200% in just about four days. So extreme caution. And Riot, in terms of hourly support, we are looking at... So we established support here with an inside bar, 2165, and then we're looking down all the way to 1770. So just psychological support, 2165 is the must-hold level uh, first thing Monday morning for the bulls to keep control in their favor. And we look out on the weekly time frame and resistance from here. I'm looking at 2656 and 3104. And of course, the huge volume, huge candlestick, very overextended. And you better believe that there's going to be some nice short plays on this name and some of these names as well. Same thing, though, very high risk, high reward, either direction you're going to play it. GLNNF, more slow and steady kind of breakout, but clear six days in a row of breakout inside bar to end the week bull break will occur if we break 224 and 227 upper bollinger band on the daily is support and the weekly time frame is just a straight shot blue sky breakout after 227 we look at 230 240 just psychological round resistance levels as we make our way up these bulls are extremely strong but again look at where we've come from this isn't a thousand percent move one thousand percent move in under four months that is extremely overbought but we're in blue sky breakout, so as long as the hype keeps up, we can keep running. But we will likely consolidate in the near-term future, which is why we need to be cautious. Risk to reward does not favor reward on entries on names that have been running four or five days in a row, which is why, again, I will only be scalping day trades on most of them. SRAX, same thing. Breakout, huge volume. Above the upper Bollinger Band, 795 is the high that we've seen. The upper Bollinger Band will be support on Monday. Nice, healthy consolidation. Look at the volume just evaporate as we got very tight, huge volume spike in a breakout and continuation. And the next resistance is 895. We topped out at 795. So this is another name that is extremely strong in the short term. But the volume, keep an eye out for a volume climax as well. In my opinion, the top of these moves will be hit when we see a surge to the upside, one last push by the bulls, and then the bears jump all over it. And that combination gives us huge volume that often indicates the top of a bull move or the bottom of a bear move. And in this instance, I will be watching for a volume climax and bearish reversal candlestick to indicate that our temporary top is in for now. HIVE is one that has really lost a lot of favor in the sector just because it's consolidating and everything else is going wild. So we ran, again, we ran 700% over a couple of months. That's a red flag. And now we've been consolidating. And from the high, we have consolidated about 60% plus. So that's a huge pullback. Anybody that got stuck, you know, buying in the three days towards the top here and didn't know to exit or have a stop loss is now down very significantly and looking for a change in the trend. But the trend is very clearly bearish with lower highs and lower lows during this consolidation. It was a bullish reversal dragonfly doji on Friday. We need a green day on Monday to confirm it. But until we break this lower high pattern, right now resistance is 401. The trend favors the bears. The weekly time frame is healthy consolidation. There will be a bounce on this weekly chart, in my opinion. We'll set a low and we'll bounce, and it will be a significant bounce. So we are watching for the daily chart to shift from lower highs and lower lows to a higher low and higher high, but there's no sign of that yet. It's going to take at least a week to play out, in my opinion, before we get that kind of signal. FTEC is one that has a tightening pattern I like to keep an eye on here. High, low, lower, high. Bulls are trying to form a higher low at 35. Right now, the range is 35 support and 485 resistance. And this is a nice, healthy equilibrium pattern that we'll be looking for a break from after we tighten up as volume keeps dropping off. And the weekly time frame, we can see that we're right here on breakout mode. And this daily chart breaking 
is going to give us a nice signal. First signal number one would be 39 cent breaking. Second one, more cautious entry would be 485. And a big red flag would be if 30 cents were to break. So that's where we stand heading into this coming week. Again, if you want to go long on these names, do your research. Make sure you know how to read financial statements. Make sure you know what their debt structure is like and dilution and share structure. But in terms of trading, day trading opportunity, certainly a plenty. And if swing trading, make sure you are being cautious. Thanks again. Have a great weekend.